in this following video, if you are struggling to choose between a cane corso, phonetically pronounced as con acorso, and a dogo argentino also known as the Argentine Mastiff, we've compiled all the detailed information you need to know to help you make the best choice. So let's begin the fight. Intimidation Factor An adult male conic corso stands at a height of 24 to 28 inches at the withers, and weighs between 45 to 50 kilograms. They are a large dog and one that boasts a great deal of muscle tone which adds to their very powerful and athletic appearance. Whereas an adult male dogo argentino stands at a height of 24 to 27 inches at the withers, and weighs between 40 to 45 kilograms. They are a large powerful, athletic, muscular dogs with long legs. The dogo gives the impression of explosive power and energy. In our opinion, both the dogs have got all the hallmarks of an intimidating breed. So one point to both. Conic Orso 1 Dogo Argentino 1. Powerful and loudest bar? Let's hear it first and we'll decide accordingly. <laughs> In our opinion a Dogo Argentino has a powerful bark. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Conic Orso 1 Dogo Argentino 2. Bite force? Among the two, the Conic Orso pressure bite topped 700 psi, and that of a Dogo Argentino measured 500 psi. So one point to Conic Orso. Conic Orso 2 Dogo Argentino 2. AKC fastest 100 meters dash. The fastest 100 meters dash for a Conic Orso is 29.86 miles per hour while that of a Dogo Argentino is 28.53 miles per hour. So one point to Conic Orso. Conic Orso 3 Dogo Argentino 2. Powerful guard dog. Both the dogs are a fierce protector of its family and property. In our opinion, when it comes to assessment as a powerful guard dog, cause of their stamina and gameness a Dogo Argentino has a slight edge over the Conic Orso. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Conic Orso 3 Dogo Argentino 3. Temperament. The Conic Orsos are known to be reliable, trustworthy loyal and they form strong bonds with their families becoming totally devoted to them. They boast having a strong protective instinct, although they are gentle and affectionate by nature too. Whereas the Dogo Argentino breed were bred to be aggressive since it was a dog used to hunt wild boars and other big game. They are strong-headed and can be a problem to handle if not obedience trained and socialized. However in our opinion, a Conic Orso has a better temperament as compared to a Dogo Argentino. So one point to Conic Orso. Conic Orso for Dogo Argentino 3. Lifespan. The average life expectancy of a Conic Orso is in between 9 to 12 years and that of a Dogo Argentino is in between 10 to 15 years. So one point to Dogo Argentino. Conic Orso for Dogo Argentino 4. Friendly with kids and other pets. Both the breeds are known to be good around children's, more especially if they are well bred, even tempered dogs. In case of other dogs and pets, a Dogo Argentino can show aggression which is why it's important they be introduced to each other slowly and carefully to make sure things go smoothly. Whereas a Conic Orso gets on well with the family cat and will tolerate being around other family pets they have grown up with. So one point to Conic Orso. Conic Orso 5 Dogo Argentino 4. So the winner between the two guard dogs is the Italian Mastiff, Conic Orso.